Since its launch last July, 988, the nationwide hotline for people experiencing a mental health crisis, has received more than 2 million calls, texts, and chats. That's nearly a half million more than the old 10-digit suicide prevention hotline got during the same period in 2021. The launch got a big boost from the federal government, but stable future funding was always expected to come from the states. Right now, only 16 states have put in place either comprehensive or partial long-term funding. One of the states without funding right now, Ohio. Gail Pavliga is an Ohio State representative representing Portage County in the Cleveland-Akron-Canton area. Uh, thanks for joining us. We heard the nationwide figures. Is the demand for 988 uh, in Ohio similar? Absolutely. Uh, we are seeing an uptick in calls and chats and connection. Uh, mental health is a, a crisis here and around the country. And we're trying to, as a legislature and just as a caring community, be able to respond in a way that's going to be helpful. I, I know you're a psychologist and a counselor. What do you see as the advantages of 988? Well, first of all, the advantages of 988 is the fact that the number is easy to remember. You know, when someone is in crisis, they are not able to think about, a, you know, a 10 or 11 digit number uh, to be able to call in to get help. 988 is designed to connect a person in crisis with a caring counselor that can help them in the moment and hopefully be able to resolve that issue uh, right then and there. You've got legislation that would create a permanent funding mechanism for 988 in Ohio. How important is it that that get passed? Uh, it's very important because uh, if we want to be able to save lives and to be able to respond to people who are in need, we have to be able to uh, continue to operate the, the system and continue to upgrade it, uh, that it can include uh, the chats and the text and be able uh, uh, to get that technology across the state. Right now, only a few of our call centers can receive uh, the chats and the text, but all 19 call centers in the state of Ohio are able to take calls and respond to calls. And uh, for that uh, reason, we need to continue to upgrade our technology, our training, and our response. I know your bill creates a fund for 988, but it would still rely on appropriations from the legislature. Other states have been using uh, a 988 fee on cell phone bills. Why did you choose your, uh, your, your mechanism rather than the, uh, the fees? Well, first of all, in the state of Ohio, uh, many of our families and persons are already uh, overburdened with inflation and uh, other economic conditions. So we wanted to be able to make this something that was a priority for our legislature, for Ohio, and our governor is an, an outspoken advocate for mental health. And uh, we, we have just made this a priority as a legislature and as a state government and with our governor to keep it funded, up and running, and to be able to meet the needs of, of the people in distress here in Ohio. Do you think the federal government should should support this more, should put more money into this so the states don't have to? Um, absolutely. It was a federal mandate, uh, and it came as an unfunded mandate to the, the states to be able to. Uh, so we had uh, uh, to receive this legislation and to respond to it. And so, but uh, so far, we have been able to fund it with, uh, uh, you know, recovery funds and other uh, initiatives within the state. And we believe for the near future, we will be able to continue uh, to do that as well. Your bill passed the House unanimously last session, uh, ran out of time in the Senate. <laughs> What are, your, uh, what are your hopes or what do you think uh, are the prospects for this session? I believe that we will be introducing, reintroducing the bill uh, in the House uh, uh, as soon as the uh, interested parties can all get together to make sure that the language that we introduced uh, is what we want to uh, be able to uh, present uh, to the committee and to the House. So I believe that uh, within the next month or so, we will get that bill uh, finished up and it will be ready to uh, uh, be heard again uh, in the House and in the committee and hopefully pass through the House. And uh, this time we're hoping the uh, with time to be able to get it through the Senate. So we're starting quite early. Ohio Representative Gail Pavliga, thank you very much. Thank you for having me and thank you for uh, drawing such close attention to this great need for prevention of suicide and for uh, a person to uh, help another individual when they are in uh, distress and be able to meet them at their time of need.